Hi, my name is Matt. Uh, today I'm just going to quickly show you through uh, how I dealt with the bias issues and continue to deal with the bias issue on the uh, Aspire 1 uh, from Acer. So you can see we've got the power lights on, uh, we've got it plugged in. Um, this is an old laptop, the battery hasn't got much left anyway. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and press the power button on. And that'll start running up now and everything seems to sort of be starting as usual. Uh, but of course as you sit and you wait and you wait, uh, you'll find the screen actually doesn't come up. What I later found out is just hold that power button in. And that'll turn off. And I, I guess if that's not going to work, you can always take the battery out. I, I don't think uh, that's going to make a real difference. Um, so basically, if you get in touch uh, with the support uh, sites, what you're looking for uh, for this Acer One is to find the download. And I'll just show you a couple of things over here. Uh, the file you're looking to download is AS1 underscore BIOS underscore double three zero nine zip okay and obviously where you're going to find that um, this is the link uh, so if you can find that link to go on to or if you can find it through the support um, it's it's obviously going to be a bit of a handful to sort of uh, type in there um, now I've, I actually went through the whole process um, where I've uh, I put the uh, I put the file onto the flash um, and what I found was after I went through it all, uh, put, got the zip file, um, it didn't still actually work. So, um, look, Acer were really good. Um, they said if there's any further problems, um, get in contact uh, with them. And as I say, this was, this was from the original time I contacted them through that support site, um, which is just clicking on that support. So I'll just show you quickly one of the sites you can get onto uh, to get in touch with them. Um, and as I say, this is uh, obviously it's not a big deal uh, to try and do this by yourself, um, but to go through the whole process and then find it doesn't work anyway. Um, as I say, they were they were really good at that at that point, um, and I don't think you should have too many dramas doing it. Um, but uh, if you have a look over here onto the uh, onto the official uh, Acer support, so we just uh, click on there real quick. Okay, and that's just going to take you into this. Okay, um, now obviously, if you want some help directly, you know, you just go on to get some support and follow those prompts. Send them an email. Uh, look, there's a phone number there as well. Uh, so, where are we? If you just go into contact, and that'll give you all the details there. You know, so that's, that's probably going to be the simplest way. Um, if you're not in a hurry uh, to get your computer up and running, um, look, they'll be more than happy to send you out a USB flash that's already got the uh, the stuff on there. Um, you may find through this site that you can actually access what you're after uh, just by going through the menus as well. So I, I did notice that you've got um, you've got drivers and manuals. Um, you might find looking through there, you'll find uh, what you're looking for. Uh, but again, going back to here. Uh, if you can find this URL, um, then that's going to be the easiest one. So I'll just sort of have a quick look at that one for you, so you know what you're looking for. If you do a search uh, just for the first part of that, um, you will generally find that come up anyway. So as I say, not, not a big deal at all. Um, so as I say, I've gone through the whole process. Uh, uh, the the flash that I set up didn't actually work. I then contacted, um, contacted Acer, and they kindly sent me out one of these. Okay, so basically, it's a fairly simple matter then of once you're uh, ma making sure that it's uh, that it's off. And from memory, I think I think they say to uh, to ma to make sure that you've plugged into mains power. Okay, so we've got that flash drive in there now, and all we're going to do now is we're going to just hold in the FN key. And the escape key. Now, from memory, it recommends to press the power button on, and then continue to hold those uh, those FN and escape for three to five seconds. 
Okay, once you see that light flash once, that's usually a good indication there um, that, it's, that it's ready to go. It will still take several moments uh, longer than normal startup to um, to get that screen to come up. Okay, so that's about how long it should take. Thanks for watching and I hope this uh, video has helped you out.